youth of Nigeria are known all over the world to thrive when it comes to entertainment. And this morning, we want to see how governments across board can harness their potentials in that to help the young people achieve their dreams. This morning, we've been joined in the studios by a former uh, special assistant on, uh, on entertainment to so the former governor of Delta State, or then the former, let me say, uh, presidential, vice presidential candidate of the PDP, Fayou Koa, who joins us live in our Lagos studios. Destiny Asen, we thank you very much for being part of the program today. Thank you very much, madam, for having me. Thank you. So, first of all, I say something that's wrong when you can use everything. It's good to see that Nigerian youth are beginning to break all barriers, that, for instance, the culture and other things uh, before now had brought to us through music mm -hmm. and other forms of entertainment. Mm -hmm. Tell us your experience when you work with Governor Koa in, the ter in terms of pushing entertainment uh, for the young people to thrive. Um, I have to be honest with you, um, Delta State is the hub of entertainment in Nigeria. And uh, if not for um, the strengths of Lagos, uh, the next state you should be talking about in terms of entertainment is, is Delta State. And if you look at the majority of um, the celebrities, most especially yeah. when it comes to comedy, Many of them are from Delta State. Yeah, well, yes. Well, yes. Well, you know the Kai Yes. Last. So you see, <laughs> um, Delta State. Uh, um, before Governor Koa left office, um, he gave. Um, he has. Uh, he came up with the Delta State um, Creative um, Bill, and so many interesting, um, like um, the Film Village, and you know, he paid so much atten attention to entertainment and. Um, we're hoping that uh, the Delta State Creative uh, uh, Development uh, Creative Development Bill. There's a bill that relates to creativity in Delta State. Maybe young people who are not aware of it. It has been passed into law, and I believe that um, the incumbent governor, Governor Sheriff, is implementing the bill. Yeah. So a lot of people can, a lot of young people in the creative industry can benefit from it. So far, so good. Um, my boss, Governor Koa, is someone who promotes. Um, creativity and entertainment generally and I wish that many governors most especially the ones on board now can as well replicate um, those you know strategies and um, financial support to yeah. young people across the 36 state which will help a lot of um, young people to uh, you know m move to um, stardom because Yes, I, I was listening to your interview as regards to politics, but you see, majority of the young people in our country are not interested in politics. Yeah. We are more interested in music, dance, you know, anything that has to do with entertainment and creativity. That's what we are interested in. And I, I, I hope that uh, other state governments, you know, would do well, like Delta State, to give more young people the opportunity yeah. to explore. In the destiny, I'd like to uh, take uh, some from your experience while you served in office. What were those things you discovered to be um, the support system that the young people desire to really achieve their dreams, especially in the entertainment uh, space? Um, first, I would say um, the platform. Every young person needs a platform. Like for me, um, be, um, Governor Koa discovered me from through His Excellency Atiku Abubakar. I've been anchoring events for His Excellency for some years, and when he was picked to be Vice President to His Excellency Atiku Abubakar, he saw my handworks, he saw um, how ready I, I was mm. and how eloquent I was in terms of anchoring events, and that was how my appointment came without lobbying for it. The, mm -hmm. the principal secretary, Honorable Hilary Ibebuem, just gave me a call and asked me, would you like to hold a political appointment in Delta State? And I said yes, and that was how I got the appointment. No recommendation, nothing. You know, and that's because they saw me on a platform. You know, so, and I would like to also say that um, in pushing forward as a young person, you yeah. need to you know, keep the money part aside. You need to pursue passion. You need to do it for passion. When you do it for passion, people are going to see you, and hopefully you'll get people who will invest in you, and then you move forward. So, but after the platform, you need money. Okay. 
Now you're coming yes, there. Yes, you need money because when you have a platform, how are you using the platform? If you use the pro pl platform properly, money will come to you. So money is not something you chase. You have to attract it. I attracted it by using the platform that is So you have a lot of money now. So I'm speak. not saying I have a lot of money, I mean, but no, 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 I'm, I'm just trying, trying to see how the young people... I'm still looking for investors. Okay, now, so let's break it down. Just you said now in Delta State, you can say you can compete favorably with Lagos, say for numbers, so to speak, and because people are, most people are really based here, even though they come from all over the country. Let's talk about those aspects of entertainment that are really lucrative, as we speak. You mentioned, for instance, most people that come from Delta State, Many you came and said, "Why well, you say no, the Kali la." So, so comedy, okay? They'll say, uh, you talk about Edo, you talk about Delta State when it comes to comedy. The music, you talk about other states of the Federation, and all, some others also are very funny. So music, movie, uh, comedy, and others. In what ways do you think that uh, the young people themselves can present themselves to really be able to catch what you were able to get during the Hakua's administration, you mentioned that they should do the best, but in what ways? Safe development. You need to work on yourself. You need to work on your character because um, family alone can give you all of it. You need to work on yourself. You need to work on your character. You need to work on your aura. You need to work on your, your persona. You need to, you know, you know, you need to give people um, a good feeling about yourself. What I mean by that is uh, whatever you decide to do, be it in music, be it in, in art, be it in fashion, whatever it is, it goes beyond being good at what you do. Character okay. matters, you know. Um, how you relate with people matters as well because you are not going to rise to the top with just money. You, you are going to rise to the top with the relationship you build with people. So you need to, young people need to learn how to network, not just network, network with the right people, quality people, people who want you to go forward. And as you network, you need to, you know, um, take away some negative things because everybody has a bad side, you know. Mm -hmm. So you need to take some of those uh, n negative aspect of you that people don't maybe may not be comfortable with. You need to learn how to most importantly be polite to anyone you come across with. Because um, you, let me put it this way: your destiny helper may be right beside you, uh, and you may be looking for o o other people elsewhere. And that's because maybe of maybe over familiarity, or maybe you look down on people, or you underestimate people. And the truth is, majority of the people who are really, really, really doing well in terms of finance and who are rich people, um, you know, they are very humble people. Okay. You know, so it's very important that young people who want to move to stardom, you need to humble yourself enough for people to, you know, for people to welcome you into um, their okay. space. Yeah. All right, Destiny. Uh, let's let you know you can join in the conversation. We have little time, but Destiny, I want to imagine, may have some answers to your questions that I may not have. So uh, let's, let's talk about the things that excite you as a young person and the things that the, the young people really look forward to. I love music. I'm a big fan of music. Everyone whiskey. loves music. Everyone. I mean, and I'm, please, um, the result of your mother, rest in peace, Whiskey, yeah. I'm sure you're sitting, yeah, you? people should be watching her. I <clears throat> balloon, so to speak. I love. By the way, whiskey that has inspired a lot of young people. Yeah. You know, and I, I have to be honest, Bonner Boy is doing real good right now. The video is doing real good. Yes. But uh, for me, as an um, a music executive and yeah. someone who knows a lot about entertainment, I always give thumbs up to whiskey because he's one of the youngest people that you know that broke that chain. You know, whiskey broke that chain. I'm talking about um, back throw it back to, you know, some like 10 years ago, okay. you know, whiskey blew around the age of 18, 19, 18, you know, 19, so yeah. we, we have to keep giving him, you know, that accolades and uh, big thumbs up to Bonner Boy now selling um, uh, lots of stadiums globally. And Shaketu is not doing badly. I mean, the, the guy is just... Breaking barriers. Uh, well, for Ashake, he came, the guy just came out from nowhere and just took over the So I would say he didn't come out from nowhere. He's been around for a long time. Yeah, he... Marking he, time, looking he, for the He is, but, you know, when I say he came out from nowhere, I mean, like, you know, 
it's difficult to come and take over the entertainment space because there are lots of people there. But Ashake just blew everyone away. All right, so the young people watching now say Ashake, they say Bernabal, they say Whiskey, they're talking about uh, actors. I love Nino Luo a lot, Bola Lady Nino Luo, the guy. And, and that person reminds me, for instance, of um, uh, our guy that, that was really very, Hanks. He reminds me of, uh, what's the name of this guy that was always speaking oh, in both range and everything. <laughs> I had a lot of them. I watch movies. There are many of them. There's Michael is there. I like but, him too. You so know. now, if you look at the reality on ground, the federal government, uh, the former administration did come up with something to support the uh, entertainment industry. Same for the administration of Good Luck Jonathan. I even guess the administration of Good Luck Jonathan really did a lot that many people talked about to support the entertainment industry. What are you looking forward to in, under this administration at the center and sub-nationals that they can do to help the people, uh, the young people around? Mike, can I tell you something? Every government comes up with, you know, um, schemes that relates to uh, <clears throat> supporting entertainers. But the in implementation is the problem. And mm -hmm. also, um, young people also need to, you know, go for these things. We need to um, lobby for some of these um, opportunities. And coming to the incumbent government, you see, um, I don't want to diverge into politics, yeah. but I am interested in the current administration in the sense that the incumbent president of Nigeria is from Lagos, and he happens to be the former governor of Lagos State. So he has broad knowledge about the entertainment industry and the yeah. creative industry. As long as he is the president of Nigeria, regardless of whatever is going on in court, he needs to really, really invest because he knows about the business. And fortunately for us, he has a son with Shei Tinibu, who happens to be a very good friend. They need to invest in the entertainment industry. You see, the entertainment industry is moving on its own and is doing well on yeah. its own. Imagine if the government throws in some few billions in, in it, you know, one billion, two billion for uh, some of these up and coming artists, or maybe the government even comes up with, a, you know, a national kind of unity, you know, show whereby you bring all of these arts. Imagine if you have Bonaboy, Whiskey, and Davido on the same stage in Nigeria. Do you know how much we're going to make? We're going to make billions of dollars. Okay. Definitely. Abuja Stadium is there. Um, many of these artists host um, shows at TBS, and they are not able to cover, you know, um, the, entire the entire seat. A little support from the government, and we are good. Okay, we, we have we to host the global show here. Yeah. All right. So we have to go in 30 seconds. Uh, you mentioned those were very successful. I so talking now that young people are looking at you and saying, look, We've been, we've been hibernating, hoping that something will bring us alive. Um, can you talk more to the state government in 30 seconds on what to do? Because some would say we always talk about the government at the center. What about the state government? What are those things they, they can do to really help the young people to ride on the entertainment horse? Um, one thing I'm going to say is mentorship is very key. Mentorship. Mentorship is very key in the sense that state government needs to invite some of us who have been successful mm. within the entertainment and creative space, you know, to maybe probably host events in different states across the Federation to mentor young people on how to do these things properly. Oh. Because we need to refine the, their talent before, the, you know, we can market to the outside world. Oh, right. So Basically. mentorship is very, very key. And I would appreciate if... Um, some state government invests massively in, in, in mentoring young people by bringing in, you know, experts and veterans and professionals in the to entertainment. Make it yeah, to make it All happen. Right. We have to yeah. go now. We've been speaking with Destiny Aston, former senior special assistant to governor of Delta State, who find your core on entertainment. Well, thank you, Destiny. Thank We're you very definitely much. bringing you back because we just scratched this on the surface. <laughs> yes, we have to yes, still talk yes, more yes. on this one.